Hey everybody, Jared with Express Screen, and just want to uh, do a quick video for you on our GoCo Pro 100 uh, print driver installation. So, first thing, uh, whether you're coming off of a disc which comes with the machine, or whether we have sent you a link to Dropbox, uh, that is very important is that you do not uh, plug in your USB cord into your computer until after your installation is completed. Um, the If you try to plug it in beforehand, you can have uh, a couple of hiccups after the installation um, that are fixable, but it just uh, makes it a little bit easier if you wait. So, um, if you have your disk, you're just going to simply put your disk into your computer um, and it'll prompt you to go through the, uh, the setup um, application or exe file and um, you can install that way. You'll see the same screens that I'm going to show you today. If you are coming off of, if you've downloaded the zip file from the Dropbox link, you're going to end up with a file folder that looks much like this here. Uh, that I just moved to the middle of the screen. Um, I'm on Windows 10 here. It is a 64-bit operating system, so that's I have the 64-bit uh, print driver. Um, if you're 32-bit, it's going to be the same process. It's just a little bit of a different uh, print driver. But the first thing that I want to do, because this is a zipped folder, is right-click on it and click Extract All. If I try to install off of the zip folder, it's not going to install properly. So I'll close that window out. And so what you see here is I've got two of the same folders. One is a zip file, one is not zipped. So off of the unzipped file, I'm gonna go in until I get to the setup application file there. It's gonna ask me if Windows can make changes. I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna select English. I'm then gonna to go to connect via USB cable, hit my next, and install. And it's going to go through the installation process here. And then it's going to say turn on the printer and connect PC via USB. And the printer will automatically set the port. So what I do here is I will actually um, plug in. So what I'm doing right now is I'm plugging in my USB port. Then I will turn my machine on. It's going to automatically find, and if I go into my settings here, to my devices and my devices and printers, we can see that it's now here under the unspecified, um, which is a common common occurrence. Now I had, I've already had this uh, print driver installed on this computer before, and so there, therefore, that's the other reason why I'm showing up under unspecified. Um, you should see it underneath printers, but I'm going to show you what to do with the unspecified here. But let's continue through here. Um, you're just going to click OK. It's going to say to reboot. Um, sometimes I will reboot, sometimes I won't. If you find that it didn't install, you may try rebooting the, the uh, computer. For this, I'm going to say no and click finish. Then I'm going to go back to my devices and printers, and we can see it's still here underneath that unspecified. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I go and I right click on the Reso printer under the unspecified, and I go to properties, and I go to hardware, and I highlight the Reso Kagaku Corporation GoCo Pro, and I go to properties, and then I change my settings down here. I go to driver and I go to update driver and I browse the computer and what I'm looking for is I want to go back to my desktop and out on my desktop I have that folder that I've just used and I'm going to go to the driver and I'm going to go to the English driver and click OK click next and what it's doing now is it's actually installing that that driver correctly close out of all of these and here you see your print driver is installed underneath your printers. Um, once you've done, you know, if it shows up under that unspecified, you just go through that process and it should pop it up to the printers here. Um, if 
you install the print driver and you haven't plugged the, the cord in or anything like that, um, then you should actually see it pop up underneath their printers. So real quick, I'm gonna go through, if I go to right click on that and go to printing preferences, this is the actual print driver for the GoCo Pro 100. You can see it's, it's fairly basic, uh, but I'll explain kind of what, what these things do or what I use on them. Depending on the size of my artwork, um, I will use a preset of letter, eight and a half by 11, for the 13 by 16 metal black frames. And if I'm using a larger frame, I will go to the tabloid 11 by 17. I use these presets mostly just because of the fact that uh, within my Corel Draw that I use or within Adobe, the artboard themselves or the preset artboards can actually line up or match to either letter or tabloid. If I have a custom here, uh, if I've created a custom artboard set, uh, setting that will work with the machine, then I would just go to custom, change it to inches and put in my my uh, dimensions. Obviously portrait and landscape is going to turn it either uh, in more of a vertical or a horizontal uh, orientation. My auto screen making. So with the GoCo Pro 100, when I click print, when I go to file and print, and I click print and it sends the image to the machine, I'm going to then have to wait for the, the image to get uh, to get held by the machine and then a green light over my start button will become lit. I'll press the start button and that will actually start my, my uh, screen making. If I have this auto screen making checked, what will happen is when I click print, the machine will still grab the image and hold on to it, but I won't actually have to hit the start button. So many times at a trade show, you'll actually see us do that uh, where we don't actually have to hit the start button. The, uh, the screen frequency and angle here, if you're doing something with halftones, um, we have found with like 120 mesh, which is what a good majority of our customers use, um, you will find that a screen frequency of 60 and an angle of 45 on a halftone image works the best. Um, and I'm gonna do, there'll be another video that'll come out explaining just halftones on the uh, GoCo Pro, but that's the settings that I will use for my screen frequency and angle. Um, the rest of the bottom here, the grain touch screen covered solid look, I don't ever change these. I leave them alone. Um, but if, you know, in the course of a conversation with someone, if I find that we might need to change these, which is very rare, um, we can change. It just gives you some other options. Uh, which you can read more about in the user manual. Now, um, down here below the re restored default, there's actually an enter button. If I just hit the enter button on my computer, that also gets there to uh, closes out that window. So um, hopefully this uh, video was informative for you. If you have any other questions, give me a call. It's 800-597-9530. Or you can reach out to us on any of our social media sites. It's Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Uh, if you haven't done so, please go out and like, subscribe, follow us uh, so you can be privy to all the new content that we have coming out. So um, again, hope this was informative for you and hope you enjoyed. Thanks.